A little bit of sunshine to start off, but first we do have some fog to get through before we can see that sun. So current visibility showing up here in miles, uh, two mile visibility in Robinson, one mile for Effingham and Alney. So you may encounter some fog as you get your day started. Temperature wise, pretty comfortable out there. We're in the 60s for the most part, 62 in Casey, 64 in Paris, 69 down in Washington and 66 right now in Lagodi. So look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker. Nice and quiet out there this morning and most of the day is going to end up dry, but I am tracking the possibility for a few evening showers, mostly after five o'clock. So if you're doing anything during the day, you'll be fine. But then as we get into the evening, we have those isolated showers and then tomorrow thunderstorms do return to the forecast. Now right now we're still seeing how strong those thunderstorms could be. But we're expecting more rain tomorrow afternoon and evening, but highs are going to be staying near average. So it's not going to be getting much hotter as we go through the next week. So we'll look at future cast over the course of the day. We'll see a little bit of clouds mixed in with the fog this morning. And then we're expecting that mostly sunny sky. Again, notice most of the day is going to be dry, but once we get into the heat of the day, that's when we could see a few little isolated showers firing up along the little boundary that's going to come through as we get during the evening hours. You can see that advancing through. This is nine o'clock, still seeing some of that activity. Some areas going to be staying dry. You won't see the rain today, but a few areas may catch a quick downpour or a light shower. We go into the overnight hours, then we're expecting the sky to be partly cloudy, so we're going to dry out going through the night. And then most of Wednesday does look dry as well. Here's eight o'clock in the morning. We'll start off the day with a little bit of sunshine, but then clouds will be building in as we go through the afternoon. So by lunchtime, starting to see clouds increase from the west to the east, and then the rain will follow that as well. Now there is still some question on the timing of this. We could see a round come through Wednesday afternoon. So just preparing the afternoon, that's when we'll start to pick up the chance for rain. This round of future cast trying to keep it a little bit slower with most of the rain coming in Wednesday evening, and that's when we could see some thunderstorms mixed in there as well. And then rem rain remains in the forecast as we go into the overnight hours and into the first part of Thursday. So looking at the storm outlook for tomorrow, right now the Storm Prediction Center has us under a marginal threat for some of those strong storms. That's level one out of five. The greatest threat for severe weather right now looks to stay to our southwest, so we'll continue to monitor that and see if that threat were to make it a little farther north. But right now showers and thunderstorms do remain a possibility for the day tomorrow. But for today, most of the day, like I said, is dry, mostly sunny, 83 for the high. It's once we get into the evening that we bring in a chance for a few of those showers. We'll see a breeze out of the west gusting at times to 15 miles per hour. Then tonight dropping down to 64 under a partly cloudy sky. And then for tomorrow, 82. So temperature wise, we stay pretty similar to today. Clouds will build in throughout the course of the day and then afternoon and evening is when we have that best chance for rain and some thunderstorms. Seven day forecast shows we quiet down as we get into Thursday. Then we warm up just a little bit on Friday with highs pushing the upper 80s. Then more rain is possible Friday night going into the first part of the weekend, hopefully drying out for the latter half of the weekend.